Hey everybody, this is Robies5991 here with Online Nights. Today I'm here to bring you another Halo 4 Forge map showcase. So today's map is entitled Joseph's Death House and it is accompanied by the game type Final Revenge, both of which have been submitted to us by the Honorary Knight system by Unsound Deadshot. You may remember him, he was in uh, one of our very first map features for uh, his map St. Marcellius. And uh, this is a very similar concept, he likes the mansion ideas, except this map is actually a lot larger and features a cool uh, variety of different areas to camp in. So this is a free roam infection map, and uh, the way it starts off is you're in this crashed helicopter, which is in a soft kill, so you cannot camp the area. Your basic classes are a shotgun and magnum, as usual, and uh, what you're going to do is you're going to move your way forward, and you have to escape this area here, just so that you won't get killed. And then you can maneuver yourself around the map where you find a few weapons. There's not very many on them, so you want to be conservative with your ammo. And then you're going to want to work your way towards the mansion, because I personally found the mansion is the uh, the best camping area, just because you can kind of guard the doorways, although there are very many. If you can get a lot of humans in there, you can hold a good position. But that's the tricky thing. The Flood have all these spawns to intercept you on constant occasions, just to not let you reach the mansion. So, so far, we only had like one player in the mansion there. So this is me trying to get in, and I got ambushed by about... 5 flood I think right away and you saw this game that only just started so the flood definitely come at an advantage at the beginning and you can only kind of hold yourself back once you get inside the mansion so here you've got a very cool little bridge concept here uh, he's really worked his mansion into a much bigger concept in this version of the map you got lots of rocks tons of line of sight breakers at the very beginning which makes it really hard for the humans to survive and as you work your way forward you'll notice there's even more in the main yard so what you want to do is try to get to that house and try to hold those doorways. That is your key to survival or else you will get wiped out pretty quickly as we learned. There's tons of ways into the house, either for the flood or for the humans. And uh, as you'll see here, you got uh, tons of ramps. The mansion's actually really cool. It's got some very nice aesthetics to it. And uh, he's got this graveyard system here with uh, more graves. And uh, what you're going to want to do is get yourself into the house in any way you can find. So at this point, I was inside the house. As you can see, there's like all these awesome little aesthetics to it. There's a kitchen, there's a balcony. But at this point, so many humans had been wiped out. I think it was just me and one other player who were still alive. So I was holding this position pretty well, but I ended up getting ambushed by the side. So if I'd had one or two other humans with me, we could have definitely held the position a while longer. So it's all about trying to survive as a group and make it in. So uh, here is where the flood will initially spawn. This is actually inside a lighthouse, and then a teleporter will spawn and uh, right away shoot them out into the game. So this is the cool lighthouse overlooking the base. I thought this was a nice touch, cool way of implicating the flood spawn box. And uh, they will get teleported into here. So the flood actually have tons of other spawns across the map. This is just for the initial mainly, and they can occasionally spawn in there later. But the point being, this allows them to really be almost anywhere in the map, and it really makes it difficult for the humans to hold out. So this is without dynamic lighting. I do apologize for this. Uh, theater mode glitch was not working for me. I couldn't get the lighting to work, so... And as I'll just show this to you guys from here, that was me getting wiped out. Uh, there is a little lighting effect change during the gameplay to kind of show you the progression of the day as you go. Ooh, uh, it's actually a pretty difficult game for the humans to survive, and it is really enjoyable for the flood, so that was a good touch I found. This is one of the ramps. This leads you to the second floor, of which there are many access points. So you can see here, I'm just going to move the camera, and uh, you can see here, you can either go up this little rock face here, or the ramp above. So I'm going to show you the rock face. By going up here, you can work your way around the corner and easily jump your way up and uh, make it into the house on the balcony. And I love you pull this little lantern off. You don't see these very often in Halo 4 anymore. They're a lot more common in Reach. Anyways, here are some of the other points. Uh, some of the access points are one-way shields, so you can only go in through there and you cannot go through out. That kind of does throw the gameplay into a cool twist. This is the uh, stairwell. Definitely tighten it. We found that some humans try to camp it in there, but like I said, the flood end up picking a lot of them off unless they're very quick to react right at the beginning. So these are all the players I want to thank for helping us test out the map. Thank you guys for your time and your feedback. Much appreciated. Uh, check out Unsound Deadshot's YouTube channel. It's Unsound Deadshot Vids. I'm going to link him up here at the top left corner. It's got some awesome content, so please go check him out. This has been Robius5991 here with Online Knights. If you want to have your map featured, please check the link to the Honorary Knight System video at the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you guys next time.